You know, in Oklahoma, probably our number one discussed issue is the weather. Uh, number two has to be transportation. Uh, whenever I'm at home in the district, I hear both sides. Uh, people are griping about the roads that they need to be repaired, or they're griping about the roads being shut down because they are being repaired. And uh, so there's a lot that's going on. Uh, before I get into the budget, I want to say that Secretary Gatz and the folks at the Department of Transportation do a great job. And uh, they're working under unusual circumstances like many businesses, and that's our supply chain issues. Uh, today, in, in my conversation with them earlier this week, we're running about 20% behind on some of the jobs right now. And uh, that's due to supply chain issues and being able to get out. Uh, one of the, the projects in my district was the asphalt plant uh, broke down, and so they was unable to get asphalt out. So they're under the same strain that we're under, so uh, let's give them a break uh, if we possibly can. When we look at our funding uh, for our roads in Oklahoma, if we add federal funding to it, we're looking at uh, a little over $1.7 billion that comes into Oklahoma for our roads. That's state funding and that's federal funding involved in it. And uh, that's a lot of money. And I believe that we're getting uh, the best uh, value that we can for our dollar. When we look at the state budget and what we put into it, uh, this year there was about a 2.8% increase in their budget. Uh, for FY23 appropriations, we are uh, $783,878,499. Uh, that's a, a great appropriation for the state of Oklahoma. I want to talk about that just for a moment. Uh, for years, we funded the eight-year road plan just off the top. People paid their income tax, uh, uh, we took money off the top, and here's the, the money to the Department of Transportation. The, the last couple of years, we begin to show that through the budget process. And so that's not new money, it's just transparency. What we did this last year, though, we took that number from $575 million to $590 million. So we added another $15 million to it. So now then the total for the eight-year road plan is $590 million a year. Uh, that is funded through our uh, fuel taxes that comes into the state of Oklahoma. And a lot of discussion lately about fuel taxes. But keep in mind that the taxes that we collect funds the repair and the expansion of our road system in Oklahoma. And we're getting more traffic all the time uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, a great discussion in rural Oklahoma is our county roads and bridges. And uh, right now we put $120 million a year of state money into the county roads and bridges, and it's capped at $120 million. Uh, this year we passed legislation that we're going to add $5 million a year to that for the next six years and uh, increase that to $150 million a year uh, for county roads and bridges. I think that's a, a great program that we're able to work with county commissioners and with ODOT and just simply improving our transportation system in rural Oklahoma, which is very, very important to the entire state because that's where a lot of the food that we consume is grown in rural Oklahoma. Uh, if we look at how do we move people in rural Oklahoma? Here in Oklahoma City or Tulsa have great transit systems. Well, in rural Oklahoma, uh, we work through some of the community action groups. And uh, one of those in my area is called Cowboys, and uh, they have a transit system. Uh, we added $5 million this year to that, which brings our total to $10.75 million. They're able to leverage that with federal funds to continue to buy buses and transportation vehicles. Gets people to the doctor, takes some to work, uh, takes them to the supermarket, gets them home. And, and generally, they can ride those systems for a dollar or $2 if you're just around town. And so moving people is important to us, and we want to continue to do that. Looking forward and ahead, uh, today we fund our highways, as I said, off of our fuel tax. That's fossil fuel. As we move more into electric vehicles, the question is going to be how will we fund the same infrastructure in the future? Uh, those vehicles, many of them will be autonomous vehicles. They'll be running 24-7 up and down the highways, which will be more wear and tear. So while we feel good today about the amount of money we're spending and where we are in Oklahoma, we have challenges ahead. And just want you to know we're prepared for those challenges and we shall move forward in transportation.